So in statistics is the continuation of the previous video about measures of location. So in this video I will explain about the finding the mean by using assume mean method and also finding the median using linear interpolation or uh, there is a formula for that. So as we know that for finding the mean by using a zoom mean method, we have two formulae, one for the grouped data and one for the ungrouped data. So now with an example, we will do this. So here is the example for this. So the question is find the mean for the following data by taking 50 as assumed mean which means that we are taking A as 50. So this data is given in a stem lift diagram with this key. So 4 slash 2 means 42. So it means that the data will be X. And what are the values of X? X is 42. And second value is also 42. Then 45. Then 50, 51, 51, 53, 60, 62, and 65. So these are the values of x. So now we will find x minus a, which means subtracting each value minus a. <clears throat> so it means 42 minus 50 is minus 8, 42 minus 50 is minus 8, 45 minus 50 is 0, 1, 1, 3, 10, 12, and 15. So this is x minus a. <clears throat> now we will find the sum of all these values, sigma x minus a which means that we add all these values. So after adding all these values, we will get 21. So it means that the mean of the data will be equal to sigma x minus a divided by n and here n is equal to sum of all these values sorry sum of the number of values which is 10 plus a so this is the formula so putting the value in the formula we get 21 divided by 10 plus 50 so which means it is 52.1 so this is the mean of the data by using the assume mean method. For the group data, finding the mean by using assume, met assume mean method. Let's say that we take this example. Uh, we are to estimate the mean for the following data by using assumed mean. Thirty. So this is always given in the question. So thirty is given. So which means that <clears throat> we will make a vertical table. Classes are these, and the frequencies are these, and we know how to find the class mark, the mid value, one plus twenty divided by two. So these will be these. The first one is ten point five zero. <clears throat> the others are these. Okay, now we'll make the column of x minus a. In other words, it will be x minus 30. So then we will fill all these here. <clears throat> so for the first class, it will 10.5 minus 30. So that will be minus 19.5. 
and then the second one 25.5 so it will be negative 4.5 and then this will be 8 <clears throat> this will be 4 30 80 sorry 18 this will be 25.5 so these are x minus a so after that we will multiply we'll make another column where we multiply f with x minus a so this is our next column so here we multiply them 7 times minus 19.5 so it's minus 136.5 so in the same way we will complete this whole table so now here the table is complete so now we need to find the sum of two of the columns one will be sigma f this one and one will be sigma f into x minus a which will be this one so this is sum of the frequency is 50 and sum of f into x minus a is 242.5 and then we know that the mean in this formula in this case the formula for the mean is sigma f times x minus a divided by sigma f and then plus a so it means this is equal to 242.5 divided by 50 plus a is 30 and then this will be 34.85 or we can say the three significant figures it is 34.9 so this is an estimate because it is a grouped data so we don't have the original data so this is an estimate that's why in the question it is also written find an estimate estimate of the mean by using assume mean method okay so now we'll find the median by using a formula and this is the formula when the data is given in grouped so we can use this formula so with an example this will be more clear so there here we have the class boundaries and the frequencies and we also already have found the community frequencies so we have to find the median of this data using this formula we know that before we did it by using a community frequency curve so now we can do it with a, directly by using this formula so here first of all we will see what is n total number of values so total number of values are the sum of all these frequencies so which is 18 so this is n n is equal to sigma f over sorry sigma f which is equal to 18 so 18 divided by 2 is 9 so 9 in the cumulative frequencies lies in this class so it means this class which i have highlighted this is the median class of the data so it means median will be in this class if only median is asked median class is asked only this is the answer that 15 to 20 is the median class so i am writing here median class is Fifteen to twenty. Okay, now we'll find the median. <clears throat> so according to this formula, here fifteen is the lower boundary of the median class is B. So it means that we can say that B is actually the lower bound of the median class.
then we have 7 7 is the cumulative frequency of the previous class so here CF means cumulative frequency of previous class previous to the median class okay then here <coughs> this 7 is written here this is the frequency of the median class so fm stands for frequency of median class and then we have about h so h is actually the class width of the median class class widths we know it is always the upper boundary minus the lower boundary so this will be h so h is the class width of median class here everything is about the median class except the cf cf is actually the community frequency of the previous class or preceding class preceding class <coughs> okay so h is 20 minus 15 into 5 okay so then we can substitute these values in this formula to find the median so it means median will be equal to b which is 15 plus n over 2 which is 9 minus cf is 7 this one is cf of the previous class divided by fm fm is this which is 7 times 20 minus this which is equal to 5 so h is 5 <coughs> and then using calculator we can find this so we got 16.42857 so to three significant figures it is 15 point 16.4 three significant approximately equal to this value this method is also called the linear interpolation but if we are doing the linear inter interpolation then we don't need to write this formula so the winding the way is a little bit different but at the end we'll get the same answer i hope it's clear to all of you.